So I got the Mrs. 2013 Toyota Highlander and the issue that she started having, well, actually it's been like this for about six months. And the good thing is she can't go through the drive-thru and get Starbucks, so I'm not complaining, but I probably need to fix it. So you roll the window down and it makes this popping noise. And it's quite loud. So let's open this up, see what it is. Maybe something obvious, maybe something easy. Let's find out. So I guess first things first, let's pop this out and uh, take out the screw that's there. I think these are all Phillips. Come on now. Sweet. And now we got to get to this one and then pop this thing out. Rather use a pry tool because, you know, I kind of like this car and I don't want it to get scratched up. So that works fine there. And I think this one... Should pop out like so, maybe. There you go, just pop it in the bottom and then just nicely, easily pull it out. Bingo. Man, got a bunch of screws here. That should hopefully help us get the door out. Really? Anyways, so these are all Phillips. I'll take these out and then from our gather, I'm pretty sure that you just pull up here and we'll see what else we need to pop out. Pretty simple. Just gotta pop these tabs off this one over here so pop that pop that and then that thing slides out so now we got the pull back and see what we find so now that we got access just kind of pulled it up and just wrapped it on this cable should be fine i guess so let's pull this down and i think i already see the problem well look at that Well, I'm glad that's simple. Now the question is, where's the bolt? Can anybody see in there? No, can't get that in there. Let's kind of feel around. Oh man, this is easier than I thought. Look at that. Sweet. So now the question is, why does this bolt come out? The vibrations, I would assume. So I wonder, hmm. I wonder if I should Loctite this in there just to kind of keep that from happening. So the bolt's a 10 millimeter. I checked the threads. It does tighten pretty good. So I think what I'm gonna do is just add some of the Loctite in there. And by doing that, that'll keep it from vibrating. And then there's a little rubber grommet right over here. So I'll pop that out and that'll actually give me access to the other uh, bolt that's holding that in. So I'll just check to make sure it's tight. Might put a little Loctite on it. I'm pretty sure that's overkill and it might make things difficult if I ever have to replace it. But I mean, this is a Toyota. It should last forever, right? Maybe outlast the whole vehicle. So let's get that tightened up and we'll test it out. So I got that one tightened up and also tightened up this. Just put a little bit of the uh, the lock tight thread locker on it. I guess vibrations and stuff like that's my they, why they would come loose. So now that it's tight, let's see if this thing makes that annoying popping noise when it goes up. Kind of helps if I yeah push and clamp this thing down. There we go. All right, we are golden. So if you have a Toyota Highlander that is making that weird popping noise, roll down your window, see if you're missing one of the bolts, either there or the one on this side, you could get access to one on this side. Typically, they should fall and be right in here. I just kind of used a magnet to grab it, tighten it up, maybe use a little Loctite, I guess I'm out of preference on that, and you should be good. So the missus should be happy and our bank account should now be drained with tons of coffee and other drive-through items. So. Thanks for watching, hope this helps.